Hello. I don't know, man. I make a lot of videos, so some of this stuff just gets redundant. I got to change it up. Sorry. Um, so anyway, here what I have is 1.2 um, equals 2.4 minus 0.6x. Now, this is the exact same type of problem, but I, I want to work through a couple decimal problems just so you don't get um, so frustrated with it because a lot of times, you know, we've been doing the same operation over and over and over and over again, and then we throw in a decimal, we throw in fractions, and everybody's like, ah, no more, like, I can't do it. But yeah, can't. we're just going to do the same operations. So here, just look at what's happening to your variable. My variable is adding, uh, it's being added by 2.4 because 2.4 is positive, and it's being multiplied by a negative 0.6. So to undo addition of 2.4, I need to subtract 2.4 on the right side of the equal sign and also on the left side of the equal sign um, using the net subtraction property of equality. And therefore, that's going to produce me with equivalent equations. 1.2 minus 2.4 is a negative 1.2. 2.4 minus 2.4 equals 0. 0 minus negative 0.6x is negative 0.6x. So now I need to take a look at it. And I just need to say, all right, multiply. Uh, now I need to say, all right, well, I'm multiplying by negative 0.6. So to undo that operation, right, because I need to get this variable by itself. So I need to find the inverse. So to undo multiplying by negative 0.6, I need to divide by negative 0.6. And I'm going to do that on both sides of the equal sign using the division property of equality. All right, so now you divide on both sides. So you say negative 1.2 divided by negative 0.6 um, ends up equaling 2, which is equal to x. And then usually we like to write it the other way and just say x time or x is equal to 2. So that means the solution, when x is equal to 2, that makes this equation true. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.